Uh, recently I've been watching, um, I think, yeah, I started to tell you this after the last episode, but we were both really drunk and high when I was dropping you off. Sounds about right. So have you guys uh, ever seen the 72 compilations on Netflix? Mm, it's like 72. Yeah, they have this really goofy shit, like 72 most dangerous places to live in. Or 72 cutest animals, and they play like Teletubbies music in the background, the whole thing. And I'm going to find this when I get home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's awesome. I, I started watching 72 most, da- for some reason it was so specified, most dangerous animals in Latin America. And they have one for like Australia and all this, but I thought the Latin America was the only one so I ended up watching like seven seasons, but <laughs> <laughs> any, any, but like, I know everything down there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about culture. <laughs> yeah, so, there you go. That, but, there's a dose of culture today. But yeah, I, I, it was it was great because uh, the the two things that stood out for me there was a uh, funny there's a spider that when it gets angry it's like a tarantula and it's got a huge I don't know it's the the spider booty that Thor- booty thorax I believe. It it it, look, it looks like a black widow, but it's not, and it's got that that Ooh. third ass thing is huge. That thick thick and, booty. Yep, and then and then when it gets angry, its fangs turn red. It goes from dark red oh, to oh, that's all sorts of no, no, yeah. No, no. And then it stands up on hind legs and gets you. And the funny thing is that I you have me. three hours to uh like have an antidote or something, or you die, and or you you, you yeah you have three hours to put the antidote in you so that it works because after three hours you have like a 72 hour uh death where it's stimulant like it, it it just like cramps the fuck out of your muscles but the funny thing they said on here was that like it uh for guys only it gives you a 72 hour boner and and then they're like <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're I, I, have a, I have a feeling i know where this is going yeah they're, 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 they're talking about it super sophisticated and trying to explain like the process so we we took that analysis and sold it to gas stations that sell viagra you know <laughs> like like off the street viagra so and, and, so people are getting bit by spiders no no they're, so, so they so they can have a three-day uh like Sexcation. The, 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 they're using that chemical, yeah. And in, in those, uh, I, I don't know what you would call them. That fucking, it's it's like um, nature's so handy. Like the Spanish Age. fly. Yeah. That only only it works. <laughs> really it, well. It, it'll look like some Ajax powder, and it's called you know like the the blue sky. Can it I keeps can, you, can, can I find this at a gas station near me? Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure I'm sure it won't be called blue sky, but I'd, we're we're asking for our friend. Okay. Yeah, so I, I would never use it. Yeah. No. <laughs> which which friend? Because I'd have to go friend? to work with the, okay. with the giant erection. How, so how much bigger does this friend need to be in front? Of, out of these three friends in front of you. <laughs> um, for this guy. Okay. I'll I'll have to look into that. I'll I'll write seventy two most dangerous only in Latin America. Right. Right. Well, and then and then the 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 other animal that I. Uh, you know what? Actually, I forgot the other animal. So fuck that. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, God dude. damn it! Fucking dead animals suck. That anyway. you just got you just got all those Not fucking egg roll dicks in my mind again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that distracts me. Just no. rolling over and over. Yep. Uh, okay. uh, reminded me of church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was one of you know I was going to use that as one of my stand ups, and Bill said I shouldn't. That I mean, is child porn really fucked up if you're a child, or is it considered the good shit? <laughs> you know, <laughs> or or is that just what the priest um, told me? You know, uh, as a as a child pornography enthusiast, sure. Um, nope, I can't go any further than that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah. So 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 then the other thing that that made me laugh my ass off. There's this guy on. I don't like when I first saw him. I'm like, all right. So they have they obviously are gonna have one fucking dork who's gonna. Be like, yes, I'm in this one episode of this really obscure documentary. I'm fucking famous. But for some reason, he's in every episode. Have you heard of this uh, Sting of the Wild Sting King guy? No. I, I got to say, I, I don't know exactly what you're talking about, no. but that sounds very familiar to me somehow. Okay. <laughs> Th- this guy this guy looks like he's n- just malnutrition his whole life, really twiggy, has a really... Like he he's ninety, but he has like this hipster haircut where it's a bowl cut to his like where his hairline starts. So he he just has this bowl cut that looks like I don't know. He's like a ninety year old lesbian or something. I don't know. It it just 
He he just looks really, and then he's got this like drawn mustache. He he looks like somebody who survived meth. I guess is the best way to describe it. And and he's those are and, the scariest people. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can kill them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah. I I wouldn't be surprised because so he, what he's famous for. He wrote a book where he's like, okay, we're going to analyze this based on my pain level. And he starts the book like he cuts his uh, finger open with a razor. And he's like, okay, out of a hundred, here's where it goes on my pain level. And then he just makes this diary and goes around the world oh, getting stung by I know exactly. Okay, that's why I had heard of him. Yeah. Uh, NPR did a piece uh, mm-hmm. where they interviewed him, and he was he was explaining uh, pain levels. And that he uses, from, from what I understood of it, he uses the common bee sting as, like, the, the standard. Yeah. And he's talking, oh, yeah, I remember that was real fucked up. I remember him <laughs> talking about all this shit that he's like, yeah, and I let it bite me to see how it felt. And it's like, he's like, yeah, and these ones have poison, so it was a little bit different. I'm like, what fucking psycho? <laughs> <laughs> like, you show respect <laughs> to the Sting King. I, you know what? How I don't want to fuck you. with the Sting King because the Sting King's probably friends with all these animals. And right. <laughs> so. the, the, the best is him trying to keep his composure because because they have <laughs> they, they had like a they put it in the final cut of this scene that wasn't supposed to happen where he's going after that boner spider. <laughs> <laughs> And, and with the antidote, I yeah, hope. Yeah, well, yeah. they talked to him on NPR, so he he survived, I guess. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they had a antidote like like on site or whatever. But but it's so funny because he just goes with a twig to like this palm tree. And he's like, we're ju- we're just gonna diddle this tree, just get him, just to see him stand up on his hind legs, just to get him. Oh, he's on my floor. Oh, leave me alone. He's like, <laughs> just, that's the rest of the episode. He's like, all right, and now it's it's spreading to my neck, uh, just for documentary purposes. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, so really riveting right. stuff. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a pretty hardcore shit. Uh, and do they keep his dick in frame? I, they, they I should have. Did he wear mesh shorts just to demonstrate? <laughs> I I don't think he would agree to that unless he g- got to document during the slicing of the dick. You know, mm, right? Like, uh, all right, he's halfway through. I'm not feeling any poison though. Uh, yeah. Do you think that guy gets uh, general <laughs> anesthetic when he uh, when he gets surgery? Probably not. Uh, no. Because obviously he's got some sort of thing. But I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say fetish. But. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily not say that. Yeah, I I wonder if when he starts to burn out, like like kind of like when anybody an actor or comedian does when they start to fade away, if he just somehow tries to keep his book alive, it's like yeah, I'm I'm walking through Inglewood. Uh, <laughs> what, what is it? Wait, how many people are mobbing me right now? Oh, there's six <laughs> people. Kick to the face. Ah, uh, it's not as bad as. Oh, I just got shot in the belly. Ah, uh, that's that's on the pain meter at 116. Like. Think of, think of a bee sting as the standard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, is a bee sting one, or is that... Uh, I I think, uh, I guess, I, I don't remember any numerical units, but I think he he said baseline, so I'm assuming bee sting would be like one. Mm-hmm. Right. And then he said uh, a scorpion was like ten, I think. One type of scorpion that he was talking about in particular. Yeah. Um, I don't follow scorpion lore, so sure I, don't, uh, I don't know exactly what scorpion or okay. uh, i don't even know if there are more than one i think there are i probably yeah they they have some cool effects on there though it's a good show they like i guess you could freeze any scorpion and keep it mm. for however long and then it on un- thought and it's i i have actually heard that really and that is goddamn terrifying <laughs> <laughs> huh. they didn't have any sharks or freaking laser beams attached <laughs> to their heads though <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. So what was the most dangerous animal? Uh, I, I don't know. Of Latin America. Of Latin, I, don't, I don't know, man. They had, because c- c- it's really goofy how they, um, like, come up with the numbers. Each, uh, each episode has seven animals, and there's okay. seven ranks. And then, like, oh, well, this one kills more people, like, whatever, 500,000 per year. But this one has 600,000 who live but have traumatic side effects, you know? Sure. It's like, wh- who weighs out with who, you know? Would you rather die or live in pain, you know? The answer is... That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty heavy question to be answered, yeah. to asking what I'm assuming is a mostly oh. stoned audience. <laughs> 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 you, you, you know, they had an... Ep- the, one thing I thought was really cool, there's a, like, 
a banned, I, I don't know what you would call it, like a prohibited island that you cannot go on in, I think it was the, the Caribbean, where it's completely, there's a, an, an endangered snake that's more um, dangerous than the black mamba. And oh. it's, 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 it's yellow and it's really skinny. And for some reason, because it's endangered, for, because the venom is so powerful, they're using it as, it's powerful because it travels through your bloodstream so quick, you'll be dead in like an hour. So they're using it for research like insulin or or so that it, for, or a diabetic so that it like goes through you at faster speed. So they're ke- trying to keep the snake alive even though it's dangerous. So they just made this huge population on this FBI owned island. Burn and, it down. No. Nope. Yeah. But no, no way. And you're, no, and you're, no and thanks. Burn it down. You're, you're like not allowed. Yeah, when when they go to the island, you're like it's all filmed with like a drone because you're not allowed to go on there. Sure. So, Dude, I just burn it down because one of those things you could get some like uh rubber wingies and uh swim across the channel <laughs> uh as soon as those things movie. figure out how to how to get into the water we're all fucked at right. that oh yeah if they could swim oh man yeah did, did you guys they, they had sharks and dude I, i'm sorry man even before my isolation tank experience i just have a love connection with killer whales and orcas i fucking love them i don't know man but they had orcas on there, but it, but it reminded me of. Did you hear the about the kid that got his um, arm ripped off by a shark and then reattached <laughs> by the same shark? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <a> doctor shark. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse yeah. shark came in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there there was um a guy. I th- I think it was in like Cuba where he there were you, you know the shark attacks all happen in shallow water mm-hmm. yeah and they and they were in shallow water and there was a tiger shark the the kid was like only like five or six mm. and it just took his arm off whole just ripped it off so he and it's bleeding like crazy so he takes him to the hospital and this guy's like oh no he didn't like i'm so fu-. and because they got him under the like all the, they got all these tubes in him and he's it's his fucking first son he's dying he's like i'm fucking getting back and he goes to the beach <laughs> 2 hours later finds that shark cuz i guess there's like flesh in his teeth still then like wrestles him and then slits his belly open gets the arm and then reattaches it <laughs> and, 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 and this is a true story and and, and now this i mean it, it healed and everything but i mean the kid it didn't heal right. The kid looks like fucking Jimmy from South Park. Okay, you know, like, how, how would you, how do you live up to that as a child? Yeah. Right. Like, like also, like, how do you live that down? Like, that kid can't do anything wrong because is that you know? Well, he's probably like, like my dad really loved me. <laughs> Either that or like he he's gonna have a rebellious streak, and his dad's gonna be like, "Do you remember that time where I wrestled a fucking shark to get your arm back?" That that probably ends every argument with it. That does, guy, well, yeah, you know? because what do you say to that? <laughs> the only thing you can say to that is, "Yeah, I remember." I didn't mean <laughs> to get him pregnant. <laughs> do you remember that time? <laughs> 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 uh, so to answer the question, man is the most dangerous animal. Yeah, makes you think. Yeah, yeah. I think sweet red rue is the most right here. That. That's that's, a, that's one of uh, that's the biggest of Bill's friends. That's exactly right, and the one I visit the least. I'm not really a wine guy, so this is kind of a uh, you know a fun little. Uh, oh, there was two other. I, j- I just reminded me. I don't mean to cut you. <laughs> I, I, not to I, interrupt you. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but, but oh, oh wait, now I'm pissed off. No, <laughs> no but the, uh, the the two other things that was cre- there was a. Uh, I don't think it, it might have been a sloth, but do, do you know sloths when they um. No, no, it wasn't a sloth. It was something. It was something like a sloth, maybe like a weird reptilian bunny. But <laughs> there's okay. like a <laughs> what are you what, like a real thing? To yeah, yeah. That there, there's some bunny on that 72, 72 animals show where they. The uh, oh no, no, you, no. You a know what? Jackrabbit, maybe. You, no, no. You know what it was? It was a mix between. It was. It was a middle between an alligator and a lizard. It was it, it was crazy beca- because you know alligators are kind of slow and they only go forward and then they yeah. roll, but lizards can like hop everywhere. It was like an alligator that can hop and do backflips and shit. So okay, the- you put that shit on the island and we light it all on fire because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so the, so uh, w- w- this girl that was studying koalas or some shit, she got a limb torn off, but then mm. she like didn't have to go to the hospital because I guess. When they they go so deep and have such a turning, they have a turning strength of uh, three tons. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Like the, the How jaw? big are they? The, they're, they're the size of a dog. That's what's crazy. The, the, the jaw strength is three times. So I could keep one as a pet as y- much as yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. And I bet you no one would ever break into my apartment. That would be <laughs> that. That's the greatest home defense. Until well, what if like they're over three tons. Ooh. What you know, if we got we got bigger issues? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be fat shaming the obese burglars. You know. But maybe that. I mean, I guess they have an advantage at, at this point. Yeah. But that wouldn't that require his just his arm to be over three tons? Oh yeah. Because yeah. weight distribution. Yeah. Yeah. But but she didn't have to go to the hospital because uh, because of how powerful the twist is. I guess it tied all her uh, major blood vessels in a knot. Oh. So it's like a clean amputation. So I mean, I guess that that that's that's nice, nice enough, you know. Yeah, yeah. Better than the shark. Yeah, that you know? shark was rude. Yeah, that dude was a dick. So do you think that uh, that's like veal to them or uh, what? Young child, young children, child, probably. Yeah. I mean, like if you eat a child, you're the high class alligator. Yeah, type. yeah. I guess that would be the the you know the the tenderest meat. Yeah. Oh, you guys just eating those oh, fucking old ladies. We got a crew over here eating the good shit. You know. Maybe I feel like I hear a lot about kids in particular. So maybe kids are like the common. Yeah. Maybe they're the McDonald's of the. They're, they're the sting. Kids. And like so, so like uh, but like. Pro surfer is like uh <laughs> like the creme de creme is that, uh, <laughs> that the 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 last thing I remember is did you guys know how like armadillos carry fucking crazy diseases yeah I, I did I did know that, know that. I re- I remember that fucking everything no like, we oh. I I have family down uh, uh in Sarasota Florida and we used to visit them and we used to see armadillos all the time and my father was very adamant. <laughs> As uh, when we were children, do not fucking touch them. They are cesspools of disease, Quit and you cannot that. touch them. Yeah, I didn't. I, and, and, and didn't did say you, shit about the alligators, which, by the way, were everywhere. <laughs> but don't fuck with armadillos, man. Did, did you know they're bulletproof? I, yeah, I heard they? that. I didn't know that was true, though. Yeah, yeah, they they <laughs> proved it on the show. They were showing like they were saying how like just taking pot <laughs> shots at a fucking yeah, armadillo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there there'd be like. Don't tell uh, Latin America's don't version. Don't tell your uh, your truck loving buddy that because. Uh, oh yeah, he'll yeah. get a pipe bomb just to prove you yeah. wrong. You know it had a, that was a registered pipe bomb. Okay, <laughs> you find that fucking serial number in a shard. Okay, no, but but yeah, he. I guess there were, um in the the redneck version of Latin America, there was just guys like, oh, let's go shoot some armadillos in the yard, and they would shoot them, and it would like ricochet off and like. Hit the fucking person back. (laughs) 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 Yeah. That's that's so cartoonish. Yeah, let's say like some Yosemite Sam shit. (laughs) (laughs) That's Uh, awesome, though. I I mean, I wonder if there were like... The first thing that went in my head being um, whatever some Skyrim black metal nerd is like... Was there like a Viking army in Latin America that had like armadillo armor, you know? Dude, they had to. I You know what? If you figure if you like were starving part of part of like a tribe down there and you shot an arrow at one of those things and it just bounced the fuck off. Yeah. That one of two things is about to happen. You're about to kill that thing and regain your pride, or you're going to worship it because it can't be killed by your hand. And either way you could turn that shit into armor. Well, not without getting a lot of disease. Well you Makes uh, it, wash makes it, it even more dangerous. W- wash it, yeah. The, so even hand to hand combat is dangerous for you too, I guess. But war is crazy, right? Uh, exactly right. Yeah. Nobody's right if everybody's wrong, man. Yep. Think about that. <laughs> Is this the